Hey everyone, and welcome to Cooking Companion TV. I'm Jenna Edwards, and this is a recipe demo of daikon salad from bonappetit.com. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. This is a raw recipe that makes a palate cleansing, crunchy salad for when you want to feel like you're eating nothing. We need to start with shredding the daikon. This is the thick, long, white radish that has the texture of, well, a radish. It will need to be peeled first, and once you remove the skin, there's a white layer that should also be peeled off before you get to the meat of the radish. So basically, run your peeler over the same area twice to get to the soft insides. You'll know you're there when you see the veiny part. If you have a Ben Reiner mandolin with the teeth attachment, you can do this quite quickly and easily. I suspect, though, that most of you will be cutting the match matchstick-sized noodles with a knife, so here's how we do that. We'll divide the daikon into three-inch long sections, and then we want to make thin sheets, so maybe 1 16th of an inch wide or as thin or thick as you think you might like your noodles. Now we make the matchsticks with cuts as thin as you made the sheets, so you have an even-sized noodle. And take your time with this. The texture of the salad is part of what makes it easy to chew and to soak up all the flavors. If you need to do just one or two sheets at a time, do that. So we have all of our radish matchsticks or noodles in a large bowl and sprinkle with half a teaspoon of salt and toss it all together and then let it sit for 30 minutes to release its water. In the meantime, we can make the base of the dressing because it also needs to sit for 30 minutes. So finely dice one red finger or Fresno chili, and finely chop two cloves of garlic, or as I like to do, grate it on a microplane so we have the garlic paste to evenly mix into the dressing. Add two tablespoons of toasted sesame oil, and yes, only the toasted version two tablespoons of unseasoned rice vinegar, and one tablespoon of sugar. Unfortunately, sugar can't be skipped either because it balances out the bitterness of the vinegar. And whisk it together. Oops, and don't forget the salt. We need a quarter of a teaspoon of it. And now we let it sit for 30 minutes. Now after 30 minutes, we'll squeeze out the water from the daikon. I need to pour out the water sitting at the bottom of the bowl before adding the noodles to a dishcloth and wringing out the rest of the moisture. By now the dressing should be ready and we can add the daikon to the dressing and massage it together. Since there's a chili in here, I do not want to start digging my bare hands into this bowl, so I'm going to use a pair of tongs to toss it around. You could also use a couple of forks to fluff up the matchsticks so they don't stick together in wet blobs. There's one other ingredient to this salad that's optional, but I highly recommend making it because it can be used in other dishes, and that's the chili crisp. For one cup of chili crisp, we need to thinly slice two shallots and slice one entire head of garlic, which is about 10 cloves, and heat this up with 3 fourths of a cup of vegetable oil, adding one stick of cinnamon with about three star anise pods, and bring it to a gentle simmer and keep it at medium heat for 20 to 25 minutes, stirring occasionally until the shallots and garlic release their water and eventually brown. Again, it takes about 20-ish minutes. In the meantime, finely peel and chop one inch of fresh ginger and measure out two tablespoons of crushed red pepper flakes, one tablespoon of soy sauce, and one teaspoon of sugar, and add this to a deep bowl. This is how the shallot and garlic mixture look while they've been simmering. It looks really fluffy. After the shallots and garlic have lightly browned, pour the mixture into the deep bowl with the ginger and other ingredients through a strainer. We want the garlic and shallots to remain in the strainer so they can crisp up. After letting this sit for a few more minutes, we can add it to the daikon. This recipe says half to one teaspoon. That does not seem like enough. I drizzled it over the noodles when I plated it, but you should toss it together and then sprinkle black and white sesame seeds over the noodles when serving. And there you go. 
chili crisp for serving with meats and vegetables and eggs and potatoes, oh my, and a crisp, clean radish salad. Get the ingredients at cookingcompaniontv.com slash daikon salad or in the video description below. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe to this channel for more demos just like this. I'm Jenna Edwards and thanks for watching.